Earlier this year, a man was shot and killed by police and sheriff's deputies in Blair. Now a grand jury decides if criminal charges should be filed. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski explains. A grand jury convenes for two days here in Washington County this week. They find no true bill in the death of Leslie Flynn Jr. That means they're not going to recommend any criminal charges be filed against any of the officers or sheriff's deputies involved in his death. April 15th, officers are called to Leslie Flynn Jr.'s Blair home for a domestic disturbance. Law enforcement is told Flynn may be intoxicated, has a number of firearms, and is making threats. Prosecutors say police and deputies gained entry. Upon reaching the door of the residence, uh, Mr. Flynn was observed to have a firearm, a uh, long rifle or AR-15 uh, that was directly pointed at law enforcement officers, to which they responded uh, with uh, their use of force. Two officers discharged their weapons, but it's unknown if Flynn fired as well. He later died at the hospital. Washington County Sergeant Shane Thallis, Deputy Alexander Judkins, and Blair Sergeant Kelly McManigal were placed on leave during the State Patrol's investigation. They've since returned to work. Uh, it was a tragedy, and I just want to say my heartfelt condolences and the condolences of the Sheriff's Office goes out to the family of Les Flynn Jr. Is Prosecutors say more details and body camera video can't be released because of the grand jury rules. Sheriff Robinson and Chief Lager believe time, it's the first fatal officer-involved shooting in the city's history. Uh, law enforcement officers, I think, responded in a correct manner with the use of force given the scenario they had with them at the time. Reporting in Blair, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now. Vander Chef says the grand jury wanted the public to know they want to see more resources and help offered for people dealing with mental health issues.